Now that we're able to get some data from our API and pass it into our search body component, we're going to have to start putting some things on that search body component. So whenever we search for something, we're going to see that data displayed and not just, you know, the text that says this is search data. Uh, so this is probably going to be a long video, just a forewarning, um, because there's going to be quite a few things that we have to do in order to put all this information on screen. The first thing we're going to go and do is go up here to the view and change this from view to something called scroll view, uh, which is a React Native uh, component. So we're going to change that in here. Basically what scroll view is doing is instead of just a normal view, just a normal divider where we put stuff in it and it just kind of contains it on screen. Scroll view is going to make it so that you can actually scroll on the screen, right? So you can actually click and drag or, you know, uh, on the, in the case of a phone, just touch and drag and it'll move down. Um, this isn't completely necessary, but I think it kind of adds a little bit of a character to our app. And in case we do get a Pokemon with a lot of information, it'll allow us to scroll down and, and see um, other information about that Pokemon. All right, so scroll view we're going to want to add a style to this, just an inline style that's going to have flex one, so that way it's going to take up the entire screen. And inside of here, we're going to add a text. <coughs> this text is going to have a style, uh, which we will call styles.header. We have not created that styles object yet. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Const styles is equal to an object. And then in here, we can go ahead and specify header and add some properties uh, that this header is going to have. The first thing we'll, we'll do is give it a font size of, say, 30. <coughs> uh, we'll give it a color red. Uh, we had, I think, a color blue on the other, on, on, the, on the welcome screen. Nice to have a little color red here. And then we'll have flex one like this, just so that we are getting as much space with this header as possible. Or actually, you know what? I'm sorry. Looking at the wrong node here. Text align. Um, the flex one would be fine, but we, we just we, we want to add that onto a view style, not, not this. Um, so we want to give this a text align of center. And this is just going to make sure that the uh, text that we get back is going to be centered on screen. Now, the text that we're going to be putting in here is the uh, Pokemon name and ID. Um, we can go ahead right now and just get that information ready for our return right here. This isn't the best way to get the information, but it is a pretty simple way to do it. Just right above the return, um, and then before the, or right after the, the render, right above the return here, we can say var Pokemon is equal to this.props.data. So we're basically requesting any data uh, coming in from our prop here called data. And then we can go ahead and say if there's no Pokemon, like if, if we just have, you know, no data coming in yet, just go ahead and return nothing. So we'll just say return view and it'll be a closing view tag. So there'll be nothing on screen. But if there is Pokemon data coming through, then we want to, you know, have all of our information on screen here. Now, <clears throat> if you took a look at the um, data object that's coming back from the API, maybe you looked at it inside of here, uh, got a good detail of it. That's great. You kind of understand, you know, maybe some of the data that's coming back. If not, that's perfectly fine. I'm going to walk through exactly what we, what kind of data we got from that object. So what we can do is we can say hashtag for like a number, and we're going to say what number Pokemon we got. So we can just say Pokemon dot ID, and that's going to give us the number of the Pokemon. And then we'll say dash here, and then say the Pokemon name. So we'll say Pokemon dot name dot two uppercase this time. Uh, we used dot two lowercase before. We want to uppercase <clears throat> the name this time to display like a nice big, you know, name on screen. I'm going to save that and we're going to run it here and just see how this looks. So if I look up uh, Charmander here and hit the search bar, it went out to uh, the, the API. It sent the information back to our app here and then now we're displaying it on screen so we got number four Charmander uh, nice big red letters on the top and you notice if I click and drag right here I get a nice little um, animated spring that's coming from our scroll view um, if we have a lot of information here we'll be able to like you know scroll down or scroll up uh, but right now just because we have the text here it just adds like a little nice spring to that text so we'll start uh, getting uh, some more of the information from this uh, object that we're getting back from the data in the next couple videos here. Um, really exciting part of the app because it's all going to be coming together.
see you then.